Greetings and blessed day to you once again, people of God. It's the revelator once again. And hoping the grace and the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ is with you until the end of time. We meet once again in another exciting, in another rejuvenating, another motivating presentation in a continuous series presentation presenting one of the deepest exposures that exposes the corruption inside the body of Christ the corruption inside the church of Jesus Christ and in the previous presentations I gave you part one and two of the system of divination and I exposed quite a number of operations of the system of divination that have handicapped the body of Christ. And I exposed quite a number of divine elements that are motivated not by our Lord Jesus Christ, but motivated by Lucifer the devil. And I took you from part one to two. And once again, I want to present the system of divination, which is now part three. And in part three, I want to be exposing the defiled knowledge. Not just the defiled knowledge, but the impure knowledge, the lies of diviners, the deceit of divination and praying that those that have been listening from part one and two you continue being equipped by the word of truth now for us to understand more on the spirit of divination which is no longer just a spirit at this level as i explained from part one and two but the system of divination let us get into scriptures in the book of Acts chapter 19 verse 14 and in the book of Acts chapter 19 verse 14 the scripture narrates and reads saying and there were seven sons of one Jew and these seven sons were the sons of Sceva and the Jew was a high priest and this Jew being a high priest he had seven sons who looked up to a man of God who was called Paul and during that era Paul was healing many with handkerchiefs during that era Paul wrote many miracles if you read before Acts chapter 19 verse 14 you realize that there are miracles and signs that were being wrote that were being demonstrated by Paul in the sight of men to the level of healing the sick even using his shadow healing the sick with the handkerchiefs and the aprons and the sons of the Jewish high priest were watching just as you have got spiritual sons and daughters as a father of faith out there and you don't know that your sons and daughters will be watching but the one they were watching was not their jewish father who was the high priest but rather they were watching paul and while they were watching paul they were not submitted under paul but they were submitted under their jewish father who is the high priest who represents a system that is contrary to the one that has been anointed by heaven i need you to understand this in as much as the sons of Sceva, in as much as the seven sons of Sceva believed and adopted certain things from apostle paul it did not change the fact that they were the sons of a jewish high priest and they admired the move and the power and the presence of god that was being demonstrated by paul 
And why is it they demonstrated the power of the Holy Spirit that was being demonstrated by Paul? They did not understand that they were not fully submitted to the man of God. It's one thing to become a copycat in the things of the Spirit, but you are not part and parcel of the ways of the Holy Spirit. It's one thing to want to follow the things of the Spirit being demonstrated by a pure man of God. But you don't want to follow the teachings of the man of God. You don't want to even adopt the character of the man of God. You remain stuck in your ways that are not holy. Now, the sons of the Jewish high priest, they adopted certain things that were being done by Paul and they went around driving out demons, but they did not have the teachings of the same Paul. They adopted certain things to the level that when they were driving out demons, they now understood that Paul was preaching a certain Jesus that they did not understand. What happens with the spirit of divination is that it is a copyright of the works of the Holy Spirit. But when it becomes a copyright, it is not an original product of the Holy Spirit. It is a defiled version that implicates the works of the Holy Spirit. That frustrates the works of, of the Holy Spirit. To, em, to impersonate does not mean you are that person of the Spirit. And the divination spirit does not have the personality of the Holy Spirit. So what happened is that the sons of the Jewish high priest did not have the personalities or the characters of the men of God. They only understood his miraculous activities in the divine dimension while he was demonstrating the power of God. And while they were watching Paul demonstrating the power of God, they also wanted to do exactly as Paul was doing. And now, they were able to go around casting out different categories of demonic spirits. And while they were able to conquer certain demonic spirits, they were using the name of Jesus whom Paul preaches, not in the name of Jesus they understood. They did not have a relationship with Jesus. They understood the name of Jesus whom Paul preaches. The name of Jesus whom Paul preaches is the name of Jesus according to Paul, not according to you. That does not understand that Jesus. That is the disease and the virus that comes with the impartation. Men have been possessed by divine spirits that portray in pretense what they are not. Why? Because you are being moved by a spirit of pretense. And that spirit gives you the leverage for many days, for many years. And you are made to believe that you are being led by the Holy Spirit until one day you come across a strong man. The sons of Sceva, they went around driving out demons using a spirit that they did not understand. The spirit that they did not understand was able to eject them in the sense that they were preaching a Jesus that they don't understand. You don't preach a Jesus that you don't understand. You don't preach a Jesus that never summoned you to preach. You don't preach a Jesus that you don't teach about. And they drove out many demons using the name of Jesus that they don't have a relationship with. Up until they came across an evil spirit that answered and said, Jesus, I know. Paul, I know. But who are you? Paul, I know. He fell off from a horse on his way to Damascus. He saw the light of Jesus. I know. That is the evil spirit explaining to the sons of Sceva. Jesus, I know. He was down here. He was crucified. And I watched him ascending. Who are you? There's a level where you don't even need to test the spirits. 
Why? Because the, the spirits are going to test the man, of, the man that presumes himself or assumes himself to be a man of God. I'm going to repeat this. There's a level where you don't even need to dispute or debate about one being a man of God or not. The demons are going to do that for us. And that is exactly what happened. And the, the seven sons of Sceva, they failed to answer that question when the evil spirit was as, asking, who are you? And the, the man in whom the evil spirit was, the man that was possessed by the higher rank, leaped on them violently and overcame them and prevailed them to the level that they were wounded. And they fled out of that house naked and wounded and this was known to all jews and greeks and all those that dwell at ephesus and fear fell upon all of them that when ephesus and the name of the lord jesus was magnified why was the name of the lord jesus christ magnified at that moment why because a demonstration that separates the sons of Sceva and the men of God had been set by God. We have a problem right now in the body of Christ. Why? Because you cannot tell who is who between those that are being operated in their spirits by divine spirits, between those that are in the system of divination and those that worship a living god so at this level this strong man this strong demon was able to separate the sons of skiva from paul who preaches a living god and after that many also came who believed and confessed and should their deeds now i need you to understand this part the scripture says that after this thing had happened, there are many that then came to the man of God, who is Apostle Paul, and they started presenting their works. They presented all their works of divination. What it means is that it was not only the sons of Sceva that were being used by the spirit of divination. It was a whole lot of people who brought even their books together. And in Acts chapter 19, verse 19, many of them, which also used curious arts, brought their books together and burnt them before all men. There were many that brought their curious books that practiced curious arts. Meaning that they were part of the system. Meaning that we are not talking about individuals who are the sons of Sceva anymore. We are not talking about a system that was in place. And that system that was in place, it even had defiled knowledge in the books that were being read by people. And those books, they were presented and they were bent before men. I hope someone is understanding what I'm saying here. And after the books were bent to all together, and they were bent before all men, they counted the price of those books and found that they were 50,000 pieces of silver. How is that possible? 50,000 pieces of silver just for books. Why is the Holy Bible has become the cheapest book? There were books that were illustrating there were books that were teaching there were books that, that were instructing many various curious arts that were being demonstrated by those that were inside the divination system led by the seven sons of Sceva. and those books they were counted and their prize was found worth 80 50 000 pieces of silver so that you understand that the spirit of divination is sponsored this is why the tail of the dragon has managed to sweep thousands out of the boat of Christ. And within the boat of Christ and inside the boat of Christ. 
Why? Because the spirit of divination is sponsored at a certain level by divine mariners. And when I'm talking about the divine mariners, I'm talking about the underworld kingdom that is sponsored the divination chief masters who are wealthy people wealthy businessmen that sponsor churches of upcoming youth youthful preachers that are not led by the holy spirit youthful preachers that are led by the influence of hunger for money and wealth when a church is possessed by mammon that church automatically is possessed by a divination program when a church is possessed by a divination program that church reaches a level of creating false doctrines and those false doctrines they can actually have books when a divination system grooms a system it is a set of rules and teachings and those set of rules and teachings they program which you want must enter first to become part of that system you don't become part of that system without being taught the ways of that system this is why there should be a gospel a certain gospel that is compiled by the misinterpretations of scriptures scriptures that are misinterpreted and they mislead thousands into the pit of hell and when thousands are misled into the pit of hell what comes afterwards is a disaster of many being lured into darkness when they think that they are following Christ. Many that brought their books, that practiced the acts of curious arts, brought their books all together after the seven sons of Sceva had been defeated by one strong man. One strong man that had been allowed by God to stop the works of those that were presumed to be having the power of God. Those that were presumed to be having the Holy Spirit, yet it was not the Holy Spirit. Yet that strong man not prevailed the sons of Sceva. Then, tell me, were all these people that then came out going to come to present their books no this was one system that was being led by the sons of Sceva they used the name of Jesus whom Paul preached but the name of Jesus whom Paul preached was a Jesus that they did not have a relationship with meaning that they had another master and while least they had another master they were running another system they were running another program system that was not initiated by our lord jesus christ by that master and that strong man stood against them why because they used the name of jesus that they did not know if you are one that is possessed by a spirit of divination you need to be delivered from the information that has already entered inside your mind. Information that is not influenced by the Holy Spirit. Information that is not influenced by God. Information that comes through defiled knowledge. Information from curious arts of divination spirits. I'm praying for you right now so that you receive the Holy Spirit and so that you conquer every works of the devil. You conquer all the works of the angel that appears as an angel of light, yet it is the angel of darkness, the archangel called Lucifer the devil. I rebuke the system of divination, the false teaching of divination, the defiled knowledge of divination in the name of Jesus.
Now 